Welcome back. If you just joined us, you're watching the news at 10 live on Channels Television Lagos. A reminder of our top stories. Federal government confirms a total of 36 cases of coronavirus in Nigeria, including one fatality and one patient in very critical condition. The federal government closes all land borders, suspends Federal Executive Council and Council of State meetings indefinitely to prevent further COVID-19 spread. Chief Justice of Nigeria, Ibrahim uh, Tanko Muhammad, directs suspension of all court settings, effective Tuesday, March 24th, for an initial period of two weeks. And the World Health Organization warns that the coronavirus disease pandemic is accelerating with more than 300,000 cases now confirmed. Plus, business and sports news from Abuja, the FCT, and international news from our London studios. Our website, channelstv.com, has more information on our top stories and others. Subscribe and watch Channels Television's live stream on YouTube and other social media platforms using your mobile device browser. Or download the Channels TV app for Android and iOS devices from their respective stores. You can also watch us via your smart TV platforms on Apple TV, Android TV, Fire TV and Roku. And I hand over now to Maupo Ogun Yusuf in Abuja. Hi, Malpe. Great to see you. Been a while. Hello, Marachi. It's definitely good to see you. Well, we start with this story. The federal government did order the shutting down of schools in the federal capital territory and, of course, across the nation as well. Uh, so did some state governments, all in a bid to limit the spread of the coronavirus disease. In this next report, our correspondent, Dari Du, examines how the order is playing out in some parts of the country. Tertiary, secondary and primary schools across the country are on lockdown. Students, their teachers and other civil servants are expected to stay at home for a period. Not in all states, but every new case of COVID-19 has prompted a new measure. Chinese television ran a check on schools in different parts of the country and Lagos, where the first case was recorded and the hardest hit is our starting point. At the University of Lagos, departments, faculties, halls of residence are not only vacated, they are locked by the school authority. The university's neighbor, Yaba College of Technology, has also suspended academic activity, but a few students who probably have unfinished business in school clustered the gate. The security personnel are not granting them access, acting on the instructions of the school management. Completely empty with zero human activity. This particular school in Lagos represents so many Nigerian schools at the moment. Social gatherings banned, schools shut. These are parts of effort by the government to curb the spread of the virus, COVID-19. But as Nigeria records more cases, some Nigerians say the government needs to do more. Away from Lagos, all schools, from elementary to tertiary institutions, have been shut in compliance with the directive of the government to prevent the spread of coronavirus. It was state as follows suit. Governor Godwin Obaseki has ordered the closure of schools in the state. The government of Edo State therefore advises that from today, 23rd March 2020, every citizen should practice social distancing to prevent the coronavirus from spreading in our state. In order to give effect to our social distancing policy, gatherings of more than 50 people are prohibited in Edo State until further notice. All schools are to remain closed in Edo State until further notice. In Bayosa, the story is different. The schools will be closed, but not until the secondary and primary school students are done with their exams, scheduled to end on Wednesday. To me, I'm not scared of this virus, because I know that it will not come to this place, Bayosa. Even if it's affecting other states, to me, it will not come into Bayosa. In the country's northwest, Kano State is also not leaving anything to chance. All schools in the state remain short, for a month. These measures are being instituted. Other measures have been taken by closing all schools across the state and minimizing social gatherings. With schools shut in many states and other measures in place, 
the government is hoping to reduce the surge in the number of confirmed cases the country has recorded in the past few days. Dari Idu, Chinese Television News. Well, let's stay with stories on the outbreak of COVID-19. We now get some more insights into some of the stories, and we're now being joined by Dr. Josephine Okechuku, who's the head of public health in the Federal Capital Territory, to look at the management of the disease so far. Doctor, you're welcome to Thank the you. News at 10. Thank now, you. how would you rate the country's response so far uh, to this disease? The country's response has been so good, so good, because a lot of things have been put in place, a lot of things have been done, by the Nigerian government, and um, it's quite impressive. Um, from, my, from my assessment, it's good. Well, there are those who have their doubts. There are those who have been saying that, you know, perhaps before now, we should have shut down the airports uh, before now, considering the fact that we have a burden of, well, the burden that we have of those who are coming into the country. Would you agree with them? I totally do not agree with them. Mm -hmm. Because when you look at it, um, it before FCT was involved, Majority of the cases were from Lagos mm -hmm. before last week when FCT started recording some cases. And we don't just shut down a system without having enough reason for doing that. This time of shutting down is very appropriate mm -hmm. in that um, when we look at the cases, we have an increase. For any epidemic that comes in, the initial stage, you take action. And as you are having more cases, then you now take drastic action. Shutting down a system is the, 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 the last option that we need to take. And even then, it should be gradual, mm -hmm. not just approach shutting down that will now create problem. Because at the end of the day, you are trying to prevent many people from coming down with the disease. Many people are going to die of hunger, of so many things that you don't even envisage. So I think this is the right time for Nigeria to take such action. Mm. What do you say of those who are say, calling for a containment? Uh, the, disease, the disease has not been report, reported in all states of the Federation as we speak, yes. um, even though some will argue that maybe it's because we haven't really tested those presenting the symptoms. But for those who are saying perhaps we should have a policy of containment, that where it has been reported, maybe we should find a way to ensure that it stays there. How do you respond to that? In our country, Nigeria, where you have so high mobility, and um, mobility um, is quite, it's not too difficult, but at times it's difficult. Before now, it was only like Lagos and Ikiti that will have such cases. Regulating people's movement is one of the difficult things when you don't shut down move, um, the system, mm. right? Containment is, um, you, you can say, okay, Lagos, I don't know how we're going to say people should not move from Lagos to other neighboring states, like it's the same thing. It's quite a difficult problem. When you look at it, the cases are coming from where you have international airports, basically, with a lot of inflow and um, services. So this period containing this, the virus spread is it's, um, very difficult. People might just be saying things like that, it's, it's not the way it comes. But it's not impossible. It's not impossible, mm -hmm. but there are so many things to put in place. Mm -hmm. When you look at other countries that have done that, mm -hmm. right, they, their system works very well. We are, we are still growing in terms of economy. We are still growing in terms of facilities. So what do we have in place to start checking that? It's mm -hmm. quite difficult. Even as we are going to shut down, it's not going to be easy. We've been having a series of meetings discussing what are the modalities. Mm. That, it, that can be put in place so that people will not suffer. Mm. We clamor for all this, but when we look at it, what is the, um, the, com the complication or the implication of doing that? A lot of complications are going to come up and it has its own implication anyway. In the event of that, I mean, in the event that people do get ill and some people are already ill, yes. do we have sufficient equipment in the country, ventilators and you know, all the other equipment that people will need in the hospitals? And do we have a motivated workforce who are willing to tackle this disease um, as it's currently, you know, spreads in the country? Um, yes, when we talk about equipment, it's, we might not be that sufficient. We don't have um, enough per se, but we have something that will keep the system running. Keep the, 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 what we are talking about, that's why we are going around the whole country, around many states, we are advising many states to keep on talking to people about the signs and symptoms of this disease so that the early diagnosis and prompt treatment remains the, the, the mainstay. You don't have to wait for there to be complications or the patient to go into crisis before notifying the authority. A lot of people are still not um, aware 
of the signs and symptoms of this COVID-19. Some people still do not believe. Just as I had a woman saying that it cannot come into by Elsa or their states. We can imagine such attitude. Our attitude has to change towards information. When we get information, let's share the correct information and people should listen and do the needful. Oh, Dr. Josephine Okichuko, thank you for coming on the News at 10 tonight. Well, she's the head of public uh, health in the Federal Capital Territory. When the News at 10 returns, the Nigerian Stock Exchange suspends trading on the floor. Activities will now be conducted remotely. That's on Business News. Do join us again.